Lemon Zero. Weirdest fruit I've ever, ever seen. Ah, it's actually insanely spiky. Woo! Oh, here we go. Wow. Bill, are you not scared at all? No. Crazy yeah, children. Welcome to today's video. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do. It means the world to us. Now sit back and relax as we try the king of fruits. So we have come to Two Acres Cafe to try durian fruit. We've been told to try it. It is in season now to the end of June. So we must, must try it. I've sourced out this location. We are in the rainforest, right up in the hills. It's a beautiful cafe. We are gonna try this fruit. It is the fruit of Malaysia and we have to try this before moving on anywhere else with our travels. Let's go get some. So we have got what we came for. We found durian fruit, the king of fruits. I am unsure what to expect. I actually like the smell of it. It's called the stinky fruit, but I actually like the smell of it. It's fresh durian, it's durian season we're told, and Penang is meant to have some amazing durian. So what do you think Scott, are we gonna try it? Yeah. Should we get a try? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ah, it's actually insanely spiky. Insanely spiky. Okay, don't pick the durian fruit up. Um, I'm gonna go for some yellow. Oh, it's really quite like soft and fleshy. Strange, I'm just gonna go straight in. Wow. Very, very strange. I've never tasted anything like that before and I don't know whether it tastes like a fruit or a savoury but it's nice it's nice I like it so we've been told the whole time of being here that we need to try durian we have been seeing it on the streets we've been see smelling it absolutely everywhere and apparently it is the season now in Penang to have a durian so we didn't really know where to come to we're at Two Acres Cafe I saw it um, said that it was good for Dorian here. So we've come here, we're in a nice little setup here. It's about to rain, so we've chosen a tent kind of seating area. We've got our Dorian. It smells, but the more you smell it, the more it turns into a bit like, the only way I can describe it is a bit like blue cheese. When you first smell blue cheese, or if you've got it in the fridge, it's like, whoa, what's up? But when you're about to try it, it actually makes you feel like you want to try it, you know, it's going to be tasty. I'm not quite sure how you meant to eat it. There's a pip in it as well, so I can feel the stone. And here we go. First try of Dorian. Oh, it's quite sweet. Oh, wow. That's really nice. It's sweet. And then it's like peanutty. And then smooth. And it's really nice. I, it, yeah. I've never tasted anything like it. The sweetness, the peanutty, the smoothness, creaminess. It's really, really yummy. Mm. So as you open it up, it's quite a bizarre looking fruit. It looks like a pair of lungs. It's the only way I can describe it. And as you break it up, it seems to have big, this is a big stone I'm holding and the fruit is around it that you, you eat. So I'm, you peel it off your hands. It's incredibly mushy and smooth and I'm only slightly concerned that my breath now smells like it, uh, but I've got over the smell and just and it's really really nice. It's the weirdest fruit I've ever ever seen, and I did not expect that taste in the slightest. I'm really quite enjoying it. The girls were keen to try the fruit. However, as you can tell by the look on their faces, it didn't go down too well. So it was time to go do something a little bit more exciting. We're at the top of the tallest building in Penang called the Comtar building. I wanted to come up here when we came to Georgetown on our Georgetown video, but we were absolutely exhausted from the day of walking around. So we've come back today to come up here. 
On top of the Comtar building, there's a glass bottom floor hanging out over the edge, standing at 232 metres high above the ground. Right, Scarlett, are we going to try and walk out over this? Oh boy. Oh wow. Scarlett, you're so brave. Oh, this floor is so weird. I'm going to give it my best to go over this, but wow, it feels so strange. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Wow. Wow. God, this feels so surreal. It's really, really bright. The guys are struggling to be able to see. But let's give it a go. Whoa. Here we go. Do I hold my hand? Scott, are you okay? Whoa. Wow. Look at that. Incredible view. It's better if you don't look down. If you look down, it's the same. Whoa. The children have absolutely no fear at all. Um, me and Chris are finding it quite hard to actually move along. Um, it feels a bit disorientating. When you look up, it's a little bit better, but when you look down and you see the mopeds, the cars, everything like that, it's quite, quite scary. Bella, are you not scared at all? Go. Crazy children. Crazy children. <laughs> So apparently, this is the luckiest chair in the world. And there's proof of a picture of a guy winning lots of money up there. So oh really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we better buy the local Penang lottery ticket tonight. Um, but we need to ring this bell. Here we go. Oh, that one's very good. Try again. Woo! I've got to make a wish, and I've got to throw my coin and get it to hit the bell. Okay. Are we ready? I've got my toy in here. Okay. Why am I nervous? Oh no! Okay, my go. I've got a lucky 20 cents. I'm going to hit the bell. And I'll get eternal luck. Grant me eternal luck! Come on, lucky 20 cents. Right, Scarlett, come on. With it, with it, what, in what gonna, for it. What are you going to wish for? I'm going to wish. No, you're not. I don't want to tell you. No, 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 last week in Penang this week which is absolutely crazy we have tried to cram in as many experiences of this island as we possibly can mm -hmm. in the time that we've been here we've been here five coming up to five coming weeks, five weeks. Um, we've been in this accommodation for coming up to four weeks yes um, and I think we've tried to do as many experiences that people have told us to yeah. go and experience on this island. This island has so much to offer. Oh. It has so many different varieties. You've got the rainforest there. You've got the it's beach got there. You've got everything. the history there. You've yeah. got the food. And it's just... It's been incredible. Yeah. We have got one more video we left have. of Penang after this one. Um, but we're sad that Penang's coming to an end. We really are. We've grown to really love it. And we've been here, like we said, for almost five weeks. But next week, we're in a new location. And we have to discover more of Malaysia. Yes. Yeah, we've got to discover more of Malaysia. And we it? can't just do one place. Yeah, we've got to I be know. going on and experiencing it all. So we are moving on. But we have managed to squeeze in trying the durian yes. fruit. Yeah. which we have ticked off now, mm -hmm. we've experienced that. <laughs> we have gone up the tallest tower in, in Penang, Penang yeah. which was incredible to walk out yeah. and, and be there with the, the whole family. The glass floor, see. by the way, I was scared. Chris like, struggled. I don't know what it was, but you look down and it's just it's weird and scary, like you're literally just going to fall Chris through. is one of these people that was holding onto the side until he saw like, how, how okay <laughs> the girls were, and then he was okay, but he was just looking well, through the camera. Scarlett and Bella yeah. literally just walked straight out, didn't even think about it. Olivia was a little bit more cautious, but I couldn't believe it. I just did not think, and no. literally laid on the gl glass looking down. Um, that was a really unique 
amazing experience. I loved that. I loved traveling to the top of Komatar. Um, durian, strange. I really enjoyed the taste at first and then it just got a little bit too smelly and my hands and everything like that. We literally had to come back to the apartment after that, get showered and detoxed, ready to go out again. Um, but I would 100% say, if you haven't tried durian and you get the opportunity, you must try it. It's you something, must. you'll never taste anything like it. It's, it's, it's got it's a really sweet, strange. it's quite a crazy taste. It is. But we have ticked those off the list of things that you guys were telling us mm. to go and do. We've done that. Um, we've We've got the next video which we have an idea of what to yes. do as well but we are listening to you so if there's yeah. anything else that you think that we need to experience get them in the comments below this last we, week we've got one more video left so get them in the comments and we will see what we can do or even if we're not going to at least an experience that we yeah. need to get done yes. and if you're watching on our other channels our facebook our instagram, instagram and our tiktok which we haven't done much on actually mm. but that those are channels that we might be doing the experience and we might uh, put it up there yes. so comment down below if there's something that you feel that we have missed out in Penang yeah. that we need to experience before yeah. we leave yes definitely 100% we hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already and let us know do you like durian or yeah. not do you like it is it a thumbs up or yeah. is it a thumbs down yeah, for let you? us know in the comments um, and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe hit the button you're not going to want to miss the journey that we're on we're in another location next week, our next location in Malaysia, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But we have one more video of Penang left, so we'll see you in that one. Bye! Bye.